Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to purchase Terra Luna tokens and store them in the Terra Station wallet. I will also be showing you how to store your private key on your Ledger device to keep your wallet safe and secure. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here on the CoinGecko page for Terra Luna. It's the best place to start when you want to learn more about a coin, look at its features, its charts, its history, and you can also find out where to buy it. So if we scroll down a little bit here and click on markets, you can see all the places that you've got available to purchase the Terra Luna token. So I'm going to show you how to buy a little bit of it and put it in a wallet. So let's go ahead and click the website link over here so that we can learn a little more about Luna. I'll put a link to these down in the description below. So the website will tell you all about Luna and its ecosystem. And I'm just going to get you started today by showing you how to buy a little bit and put it in a wallet. All right, so there's quite a few links here at the top that you can explore, the ecosystem, the network, uh, be a programmer for Luna. But under the learn here, they've got some links to their wallet. And uh, the Terra Station wallet is the one that I'm interested in. Now we can uh, just click Terra Station and it's going to take us over to this website. All right. And you can see here on the Terra Station homepage that uh, there are a lot of features here. You've got the wallet, you've got history, uh, you've got a swap feature for swapping Terra tokens for others. Uh, you've got stake features, governance, NFT. So there's a lot of features here in the Terra Station wallet. Now I'm going to show you how to get this wallet set up and connected to your Ledger device so that you'll be storing your private key on a hardware device. This will keep your wallet safe and secure. Now there's also, if we go back over here, you'll notice that they also have a Chrome extension. I'll go ahead and get that installed as well. We just click Add to Chrome and then Add an Extension and then we'll have it up here in the extensions. All right, we can just click here. And we're going to do the same thing with the extension. Uh, we'll access it with our ledger. So once we get the Terra app installed on our ledger device, we'll be able to use both uh, types of wallets, right? Using the same private key, right? We'll be able to access our Terra from either interface and it'll be the same exact wallet, right? All right, in order to get started with these wallets, let's go ahead and install the Terra Luna app on our Ledger device. This will create the wallet for us and store the private key on our device. And then we'll use that device to connect to these Terra Station interfaces. Let's go ahead and launch Ledger Live. All right, so once we get Ledger Live launched, we want to take our Ledger device and connect it to our computer with a cable. All right, we'll just go ahead and connect everything. And once we've done that, we'll need to enter our PIN. All right, and so you can see over here, I've got my device connected uh, with my USB cable, and I've entered my PIN, and the device is now unlocked and you can see that I'm at the home screen of the device. So now we want to go over to the manager. So once we get into the Ledger Live Manager, we're going to want to install the Terra Luna app. So we can search for it here, T-E-R, and there it is. We'll hit install. All right, and as this is installing here, you'll notice it's loading over on the device. Now what's happening right now is that when it installs the Terra app, it actually creates a Terra wallet, right? The private key is living on your device, and then you'll be able to use this wallet uh, to connect to the Terra station interfaces that I showed you earlier, right? This is the safest and secure way to manage a wallet, is to have the private key stored on a separate hardware device, all right? Now that we've done all this, we can quit Ledger Live. We don't need it anymore. We cannot manage our Terra Luna within Ledger Live. We need to use the Terra Station apps in order to manage these wallets, right? So we'll just go ahead and close out Ledger Live. And then let's go back over here. 
to our Terra Station wallet that we opened up. Now remember, this is a web page, but since we're using the private key from our device, it is a safe and secure way to manage our Terra. We are not storing Terra on a website, right? We're just using the web interface to access our hardware wallet. All right, so it will hit connect here, and we're going to be using our ledger device to connect to the Terra Station wallet. Now, we want to be in the Terra app on our hardware device before we do this connect, right? Well, you can see here that I'm, uh, I've navigated to where I'm on top of the Terra app, and then I'm going to hit both buttons, and it says Terra ready, right? So my wallet is ready to connect. All right, we've got our ledger plugged in. We've got uh, the Terra app running. We'll hit connect. And that should connect us with the wallet. Now, you might get a pop-up on your browser asking you to connect your device to your browser. I've already done that. So I skipped through that step. But if you see it, simply click on your device and click connect, and you should get to this page just like I did. Uh, you'll notice here that I already have some uh, Terra Luna in my wallet. You, you just saw me install the Terra app on my device. So your device will always remember wallets that you have created. And even if you uninstall and reinstall the app, your cryptocurrency funds will be safe. All right. So it's a very safe and secure wallet. Now I'm going to also show you how to use the extension because the extension is uh, how you'll uh, connect to some of the other protocols. So to connect to the extension, it's very similar. We'll just scroll down to the Terra Station wallet, and we'll click Access with Ledger. Pretty much do the same thing. And you can see I have the same balance. This is a slightly different interface, the Terra Station uh, extension. But I'm showing you this uh, so that you can see that you're connecting to the exact same wallet, right? You can see the balances are the same right? I'm just using two different interfaces, right? The Terra Station extension will be used in the Anchor protocol, and I'll show you that one in another video, right? We're just going to keep it simple this time. All right, so you can see there that I already have some Terra in my wallet, but what do you do if you want to put some Terra in your wallet? So uh, I'll show you that. There is the uh, Terra Station address up there, this is the Terra address of your wallet. So in order to transfer some Terra into this wallet, we're going to need this address. We can click on it and then click copy, and that's going to put the Terra station address in our clipboard. Let's go back over to the CoinGecko page and uh, go down here to the markets, and there are several places that you can buy Terra station coins. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use Kraken today because it is a U.S. based ex exchange, but uh, there, uh, KuCoin is also a good place to buy Terra, and you can also buy Terra on the Crypto.com app. So there are several different ways to buy Terra. I'm going to show you uh, the the uh, Kraken way. All right. So if you already have some assets in Kraken that you want to trade for Luna. Uh, or you've deposited some US dollar in your account already, then you can use your US dollar to buy Luna. So if you go here and just type in Luna, you can see that there is a US dollar Luna trading pair. All right? And if you have US dollars in your account, you can simply trade for Luna outright. Uh, at the moment, I don't have enough, so I'm gonna choose the buy crypto option. It's pretty easy. Uh, if we click buy here, we'll just uh, search for Luna. All right, notice that I have a small balance in there already. I could use that if it were higher, but I can also click this pay with, and it'll allow me to purchase directly from my bank account. So I'll hit uh, bank account total checking there. I'll hit OK. And I'm, I'll go ahead and buy 100 bucks worth of Terra today so you guys can uh, see how this works. All right. There's going to be a small fee. Like I said, there are other places to buy uh, Terra, uh, but you can't buy it on Coinbase, really. You can buy Wrapped Luna on Coinbase, but that is an ERC-20-based Luna token, 
and you incur very large Ethereum transfer fees when you use that token. And then you have to convert it over to native Luna, which costs you more Ethereum fees. So much cheaper to go ahead and just pay a small fee on Kraken to get your hands on some native Luna. Right? And then, like I said, you can also get it on Crypto.com or KuCoin. And there are quite a few other exchanges as well if you have those accounts. I'll go ahead and hit confirm here. All right, so I heard a little email alert come into my phone over there that uh, confirmed that I made this purchase. And then you can see here on the, the Kraken site that I've uh, successfully bought that small amount of Luna, right? We'll hit done here. And then uh, in my account balance, you can see that I have some Luna now. Now, I want to transfer some over. I'm not going to buy or sell it. I'm going to just move it into my wallet. And as I mentioned earlier, in the Terra Station wallet, we've got our wallet address here. We've copied it into our clipboard. We'll go back over to Kraken. We'll want to go over here to Funding so we can see the Luna in our spot account. There's our amount of Luna. And we've got Withdraw and Deposit over here. So we'll go ahead and hit withdraw here, right? And there's no Luna address in my account yet, so I'm going to add one. And we'll just call this one Terra Station. You can call it whatever you want. This is just uh, a name that's meaningful for you. And then here's the withdrawal address. Now I'm going to paste in that address that we copied from our Terra Station, right? We don't need the memo. Uh, the Terra Station is a, a standalone wallet. I don't need a memo address when transferring into a standalone wallet. So uh, we'll add this to our address. All right, they're going to confirm that by sending us an email. All right, we'll open up that email and then we'll just confirm that withdrawal address. And there we go. Now that we have an address, we can go ahead and finish our withdrawal. We'll go ahead and withdraw 100% of what we just bought. And we'll just confirm that address there. You know, you can eyeball it here and just make sure you're sending it to the right address. Right? There I can look at the address there and just confirm that uh, that is the correct address. All right, and so uh, we'll just choose Withdraw Luna. We'll withdraw to the uh, Terra Station wallet, and we'll click Withdraw here. And there, the withdrawal was successful. All right, if you recall, I had about 7.8 Luna in my wallet. I should be getting some more here shortly. All right, I just got an email from Kraken saying that my request has been submitted for a withdrawal. And it, the status over here says Initiated. So it's going to take a few minutes for it to be confirmed in Kraken, and then it might take a few more minutes for it to show up in the wallet. So uh, as long as you've done everything properly, uh, you shouldn't have anything to worry about, right? Now, if this is your first time withdrawing from an exchange to your own wallet, my advice is to use a small amount first, similar to what I did, you know, fifty to a hundred dollars. You don't want to withdraw huge amounts on your first try. You want to confirm that you successfully uh, moved it from your exchange to the proper wallet. Once you've done that first test transactions, then you can go ahead and withdraw uh, the rest of your holdings, right? Or however many Luna you want to transfer over to the wallet. You can refresh your wallet up here if you want to just kind of refresh the balance. Oh, and there you can see that it came in, right? So I, uh, I have 8.99 now. Uh, the, the new Luna came in from my exchange. I can look over here in history, right? And then you can see there that that Luna that I transferred over from uh, Kraken has arrived in my wallet, right? So that's the basics, right? Uh, I wanted to get you uh, set up with the wallet and then show you how to make a deposit into the wallet so uh, you can manage your Luna directly in the Terra Station wallet. And as I mentioned, they also have some swap features here. So you can swap 
for UST, which is the native Luna stablecoin. It's an algorithmic stablecoin that is based on the Luna and it is pegged to the price of the US dollar. And it will be very important when we move over to the um, Anchor protocol. Right? I'll show you how to do that in uh, an upcoming video. But the Anchor protocol is where we can really um, start managing our assets and generating passive income. We'll be able to make deposits. Uh, provide liquidity, earn, borrow, do all kinds of uh, amazing things with the uh, Terra token, right? So in order, and, and the UST token. So uh, we can uh, swap our Terra for UST right here. We have an available balance of Luna, right? So we can swap directly for UST right here. And then uh, we can also trade for other tokens, such as the Anchor token, which will also come in handy when we uh, move over to the Anchor protocol. We'll be able to uh, provide some liquidity with ANC tokens. And then uh, we also have stake feature over here. So if we choose a validator, we can delegate some of our Luna and earn rewards on that. So if we hit delegate here, uh, we've got an available amount of Luna that we can... Uh, stake and earn rewards on that that's a good way to earn some passive income on your luna holdings but of course you'll uh, want to do your own research and figure out which is the best delegator for you right uh, there are a lot of delegators out there uh, so you'll want to do a little research and find out more about each of them right you can uh, go to their website and find out more about each of these delegators and uh, make an intelligent decision uh, whether you want to use them to stake your Luna tokens. So I've shown you the basics. I showed you how to get your ledger set up with the Terra app so that you could uh, manage your private key. I showed you how to connect that ledger device to the Terra station interface. And then I showed you how to purchase a little bit of Terra token over on Kraken and transfer it into your wallet so that you can begin your journey. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.